Hey there fellow treasure hunters. Welcome back to Coin Oz. We've stumbled upon something pretty interesting that could give you a new perspective on your spare change. So, before you consider parting ways with those pennies, stick around because we're about to explore the unexpected value hidden in just 8 rare ones. It's a shift from the ordinary, so let's jump right in. Number 8. 1988D Lincoln Cent with Flared G on Reverse. Graded as MS66 Red by PCGS. According to Lincoln Cent Collection.com in 1988 rare alternate reverses from both the Philadelphia and Denver mints were produced where the A and the M were wide as normal but the FG initials were close to the memorial rather than far as they should be for that year. These are 1988 coins with the transitional year reverse of 1989. This variety has sometimes been unfortunately called the 1988 wide AM even though a wide AM is normal for that year. To clear up this confusion PCGS now names these varieties as having a flared G. This MS66 red cent was sold for $1,519.88 with buyer's fee. Number 7. The 1937 proof cents are similar to the brilliant proofs of 1936. The popularity of the latter finish is reflected in significantly higher sales of proof coins during 1937. This is nevertheless a fairly scarce date when compared to the millions of proofs coined annually since the 1960s. The mint became a little more practiced at polishing the dies, with the result that a very small percentage of this emission reveals some degree of cameo contrast between brilliant fields and gently frosted devices. These cameo and ultra cameo coins are indeed rare and highly desired. This gem was sold for $1,680. Number 6. 1980 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1980p Lincoln Cent is very common as the US Mint struck over 7.4 billion examples. Examples up to MS66 condition are easy to locate. In MS67 they are scarce. Anything grading higher than MS67 is considered rare. This plus designated gem ended up selling for $2,300.62 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 1930s Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by NGC. This is a sharply struck, pristine copper red example of the 1930s Lincoln Cent showing no carbon spotting or bothersome abrasions. I appeal is excellent. This issue is rare in MS67 red, and no numerically finer red coins are known. It was sold for $2,640. Number 4. 1970s large date sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS65 red by PCGS. All obverse lettering exhibits pronounced die doubling on this guidebook variety, showing most prominently on liberty and in God we trust, with lesser doubling on the date. This gem red example displays satiny copper red luster and a bold strike. No bothersome carbon spotting is seen. It was sold for $3,600. Number 3. 1955 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS64 Brown by NGC. Deep Walnut Brown Patina bathes this satiny and boldly struck key date scent. Some flickers of orange-red color remain in the most protected areas. Each side exhibits a few trivial ticks, but a generally unabraded example. FS101 shows bold dye doubling visible to the naked eye, making it one of the most sought-after issues in the series. This elusive specimen was sold for $4,320. Number 2. 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, glistening golden and tan orange hues adorn the gem surfaces of this full red 1909 SVDB Cent, complementing well-struck design elements. The coin is largely pristine, with only a single horizontal mark below the M in America serving as a pedigree marker. CAC endorsement adds to the appeal. It was sold for $10,800 on January 10, 2024. Number 1. 1974 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, 
The 1974S proof link and scent is easy to obtain and grades up to about PR68 Deep Cameo. Examples in PR69 Deep Cameo are more challenging to find but enough examples exist, that most collectors can buy one at a reasonable price. PR70 specimens are almost unheard of. PCGS has certified just four specimens including this gem in that top grade. It was sold for $23,062.61 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this episode. If you found these information helpful make sure to hit subscribe and like buttons before you move one with another video. Have a good one.